So in this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how to calculate the, um, the standard scores um, using Jamovi. So here we have this Excel file, um, uh, the large calcium uh, from the previous exercise. So let's just open this in Jamovi first. So it's loading in the background. And so you can actually open any Excel file directly from Jamovi by clicking this um, three lines on the left. Click open and browse. Then you just need to locate the Excel file to open. then it opens up um, right away, even though uh, you need to do something uh, before you do any analysis on the data because, so automatically, as you can see, um, the column headings of the Excel file is actually used as he uh, the header for Jamovi, uh, but when it is imported into Jamovi, it actually automatically detects um, you know, what kind of variable each variable is. So what, what level of a measurement each variable is, um, but it is not always um, accurate. So let's just... Um... Okay, so this way. So if you look at age, age is not nominal. See, these three circles represents a nominal variable, but age is continuous variable. So you want to double click on the header and assign the proper level of measurement, which is continuous. Okay, so this uh, is what, sh what you should have done for the, um, the previous formative exercise. Um, everything else looks all right, um, age group can be ordinal, but um, it doesn't really matter at this moment. So um, let's take a look at the um, calcium data. So descriptive. Um, in fact, let, let's just look at all the, by the way, in, to be able to calculate the standardized score, the Z scores, and the variable should be uh, at least interval level of measurement, right? Because you need to be able to calculate the mean and the standard deviation to convert any raw score to the Z score, right? So um, let's just get the mean and plots let's see what happens okay so this is a histogram of age obviously this is a positively skewed um, and that is actually shown in the box plot too you have longer upper whisker with three outliers up here um, for calcium, it looks all right, uh, more or less symmetrical around the center, and except for one outlier down below. And it's the same thing with uh, an organic phosphorus, more or less symmetrical around the center, except for this um, single outlier. So um, let's calculate a standardized score. Uh, for age first. So to calculate the um, Z score, you need to know the mean and the standard deviation of um, the variable, right? So what you need to do then, you go back to data, and you want to have computed variable, which will be 
which you call um, like Z age. That page, and if you click on this formula editor, then you will see the variable. Um, so we're going to convert uh, the age into the standard score. So you double click to move age variable, and you subtract the mean of the age, right? And um, so you can just type in the, the mean is here, right? 72.3 and divide this by the standard deviation, which is 4.86. Okay. So if you just hit enter, then here we have the um, ZH, right? So these are the Z score, the corresponding Z score of each age data. So what that means is that for this first data, right? So um, the age is 78, right? So that age is actually uh, 1.173 standard deviation above the mean. That's what it means. So the second one, 72, that score is basically uh, 0.062 um, standard deviation below the mean because now you have the negative sign in front and if you have the same score then they have the same Z scores right so 73 is actually 0 0.144 standard deviation above the mean so that's what that means so let's just um I'll just remove everything. Hmm. Wait. There we go. So let's just uh, go back to analysis again. Right, so everything is reset it. Now let's just move age and Z age to the variables. There's no missing variables, I mean. Then um, density box plot. So this is the um, the raw distribution of the age variable and again this is box plot and as you can see so i don't know if it's really clear to you but the shape of the distribution even after the uh, transformation z transformation looks exactly the same right except that uh, the unit on the x-axis now changed so zero is where the mean is, right? Which is about 72.3. So that's where the mean is. And the spread is exactly the same um, as the raw distribution too. And your box plot after the transformation will be also looking exactly the same as the raw data. And the location of the mean is always zero right because the z scores are centered um around the zero so um you know if you see the z score of zero then that is where the mean is right uh, whatever the mean is um and see after the conversion um the um z score the z score for the mean is at uh, this value and this is basically the rounding error but it is close enough to zero and the standard deviation is close to one right so that is how you calculate the z score of a data set using jamovi